So back in spring, you grabbed that potato and you stuffed it in the ground. Now what? Today we're gonna to talk about when to harvest your potatoes. Hey you guys, Jerry with Lonely Pines Farm. Welcome back. How's everybody doing today? Today we're talking potatoes. So most potatoes, when you're looking at the package, seed potatoes, they're gonna tell you that they'll be ready to harvest in 70 to 120 days. So that's all fine and good, especially if you mark it down on your calendar. We here in Zone 8, Olympic Peninsula of Washington, we planted our potatoes on March 27th. So it's been almost exactly four months to the day. Um, there are different varieties of potatoes, of course. You have your uh, Yukon Golds, which will re, uh, mature in about an 80-day time period. You have Reds that might take 90 days, and your Russets that might take 120 days. But all those potatoes, they've all got something in common. They all look pretty much the same when they're about ready to be harvested. So today we're going to show you exactly what to look for. So the exact time for you to harvest is actually going to be completely up to you. <laughs> Some people, they really like to have young, new potatoes. So when you're talking a quarter-sized potato or something along those lines, when your plants are flowering, they've actually got little potatoes down there. So a couple of weeks after that, you can start getting fingerling potatoes. We prefer to have a much larger potato. We let our plants go, as you can see, until they're mostly dead. They do still have some green stems, but we're also fighting blight this year. We have some tomatoes that have had to really drastically trim, so it's time to get these out of here. We want to get all of this foliage out of here as well, so it stops contributing to the blight situation. We have Pontiac Reds planted here, and we have Yukon Golds planted back there. And you can see the Yukon Golds have long since died off. You can leave them in the ground for a couple of weeks after the plants die off, but you do have to be aware if you're in a really wet climate that they could rot in the ground or possibly start growing on you, which you don't want either. So the best way for you to tell if your potatoes are ready is for you to actually dig one out. So I would start doing this after they have flowered. Give it a few weeks, your plants will be lush and green and just get in here and start raking away a little bit until you find a potato. And then take that potato and look at it, and is it the size you want? Cut it, cook it, taste it, is it delicious? Maybe you want to stop right then. For us, we usually start digging around a little bit and find a couple small ones, but look for something a little bigger. There's a good one there, right? So there's, there's a good looking red spud. And so for us, we know that we're where we want to be. That's a good looking potato. I'd say it's time to harvest. What do you think? I think so. Let's <laughs> do it. <laughs> Let's do it. So quick pro tip you guys, do not wash off your potatoes, okay? Just leave them dirty. They will cure better this way and they will last a lot longer. If you rinse this coating off of here right now, they'll spoil much, much quicker. So when you cure your potatoes, it's just like storing them. You wanna put them in a cool, dark area. If it's got airflow, all the more better. We use our shop and we just open up the doors. They're in the shade all the time. It does get a little warm during the hot days of summer, but it gets cold at night. Works fantastic. And then for long-term storage, we've been saving potato bags for years. <laughs> but you can just use an aerated bag and put them in five pounds, 10 pounds at a time. Some people will even put them into a 55 gallon drum. Just check them periodically to make sure you don't have any that are rotting. If you have any rotting, or going to seed, get rid of them right away. Speaking of going to seed, save a couple really good ones and get them chitting in a windowsill so that you can get them planted so you can get another crop out of them in the fall if you're lucky enough to have two seasons or at least hang on to some of them for next spring and you can use those as your chitting potatoes. So hey, I hope you really enjoyed this video, you guys. We'd like to hear from you. Uh, let us know how your harvest went and did you have disease issues or anything. If you got questions, post them below. Uh, you can tag us with your photos at Lonely Pines Farm. You can find us on all the social media channels. Uh, Laura's got us hooked up even on TikTok, you guys. So hey, 
Thanks for watching and happy growing.